Kids, just say no to drugs. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most abused prescription drugs. This year, Americans will fill about 60 million prescriptions for sleeping pills, including Ambien, the drug that made headlines last month when Carrie Kennedy crashed her car on a highway. For this list, we're looking at pharmaceutical drugs that are often prescribed by doctors, but which are also sought after on the black market. With fentanyl, they call him back a dozen times, like, where are you, where are you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you $100 of one bean, and just, like, the, the desperation in the voice. The rankings are based on how commonly they're used for recreational purposes and how dangerous they are. Please note, Watch Mojo does not condone drug use. You got some weed? Hmm? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> Number 10, Dilaudid, also known as Hydromorphone. Dilaudid is an opioid class painkiller often prescribed by doctors for treating moderate to severe pain as an alternative to morphine. In fact, it's actually considered eight times stronger than morphine. Recreationally, it's used as a substitute for heroin, and the preferred way to consume it is intravenously, where it produces a euphoric rush and enhances feelings of happiness. Users can often build a dependency and an addiction to Dilaudid, as many who abuse the drug feel rapid mood swings and a need to increase their dosage. Oh, and he's a real stoner on Dilaudid, so, so don't be surprised if he compliments your eyes. In 2008, there were over 14,000 deaths due to Dilaudid overdoses in the United States alone. And with many abusers mixing Dilaudid with heroin or cocaine, the results can often be deadly. Number nine, Soma, also known as Carisoprodol. Find these in your house. The white one's Carisoprodol. This muscle relaxant doesn't have a reputation as one of the more dangerous prescription drugs, which is why it's so often abused. According to the National Survey on Drug Use and Health, over three million Americans have used Soma for recreational purposes at some point in their lives. Because it's addictive, it's usually prescribed for short time use only. However, it often gets abused when people take it for longer than their doctor recommends. It's also often mixed with alcohol and other drugs in order to enhance its effect. There are plenty of nicknames associated with common soma combinations, including the soma coma, which mixes it with the narcotic codeine, or the holy trinity, which sees soma blended with Vicodin and Xanax. Number eight. Ambien, also known as Zolpidem. You want me to get your Ambien? With over 40 million prescriptions per year in the U.S. alone, this hypnotic drug is administered to help ease insomnia. And when used as recommended, it's considered safe and non-addictive. Every night at 1.30, he takes an Ambien, he puts on Beethoven's Third. By the fourth move, he's out like a light. Using more than the prescribed dose, however, can cause dangerous results. This New Jersey woman had no idea she was even driving. She had taken Ambien and alcohol, gone to bed, ended up on the road. Recreational. Ambien is taken as a sedative with psychoactive qualities and feelings of euphoria and tranquility, as well as an increased sex drive for some. Taken in large quantities, Ambien can lead to a fatal overdose. However, most Ambien-related deaths are caused when it's ingested with other sedative drugs or alcohol. While it's most often taken orally in its traditional pill form, recreational users often snort it for quicker results. I can't sleep. Take an Ambien. Number seven. Valium, also known as diazepam. What do you want? You want the truth? Valium. When it entered the market in the 1960s, Valium quickly became the safe miracle cure for anxiety and panic attacks. And it was the highest selling drug from 1968 to 1982. However, by the 1970s, doctors realized that Valium wasn't harmless, as many patients were reporting problems with dependency and addiction. Building a tolerance to the medication can be quick, and withdrawal from it can be very difficult. He took mercy on me. He gave me 10 milligrams of Valium and sent me home. People who take Valium enjoy the feeling of mild euphoria, especially when used with other sedative drugs. By dinner, I popped a few more on top of some cocktails and a Valium or two. When the Valium pill is ground into a powder and snorted, its effects are even quicker and more intense, while taking Valium with alcohol can lead to deadly results. Number six, fentanyl. And fentanyl is a drug that is actually 50 to 100 times more potent, more powerful than heroin. It's one of the strongest opiates on the market, much stronger than morphine or heroin. 
Fentanyl is administered or prescribed by doctors for breakthrough pain, which is pain that persists when a patient is already on a painkiller or anesthesia. It's so strong that if administered intravenously by someone who is not a doctor, overdose is a likely result. When it's prescribed to cancer patients to deal with pain, it comes in the form of a lollipop or a patch to prevent overdose. People who use fentanyl feel anesthetized, free of problems and concerns, but the euphoria doesn't last long. And you quickly build a tolerance to it, so you need higher and higher dosages to get the same effect, which can be lethal to abusers. I'd rather die than go through the pain of the withdrawals of these pills. Once you do a pill, you feel relaxed, you can function. Number five, Xanax, also known as Alprazolam. She's usually operating on one or more psychiatric drugs. Tonight, I believe it's Xanax. Xanax is the number one prescribed psychiatric medication and one of the most prescribed drugs in general in the United States. More and more people are being prescribed Xanax, with nearly 50 million prescriptions in the U.S. in 2013. I was on Xanax and Effexor, but I agree it wasn't as sharp, so I stopped. While it very rarely can be deadly by itself, it is highly addictive, especially when mixed with drugs or alcohol. A tolerance to the medication is built quickly, and abusers can become physically dependent on it, as it also has severe withdrawal symptoms, especially when someone stops taking it abruptly. Yeah, I don't feel so good. I'll give it a couple hours. You'll be golden, pony boy. You want a Xanax? According to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, the number of ER visits involving Xanax in the U.S. has significantly increased, with over 120,000 visits in 2011. I got a stomach full of Xanax. I took what was left of a bottle. Might have been too much. Number four, Adderall. Wait, you're that girl that got hooked on pills and then dropped out. <laughs> You're little Annie Adderall. The majority of the entries on this list are used by adults. However, this drug is almost exclusive to teens and college-aged students. With properties similar to Ritalin, Adderall is a central nervous system stimulant used to help people who have ADHD. My God, these children all have ADD. Hooray. And it's on the rise, according to IMS Health as approximately 16 million prescriptions were written for stimulants like Adderall in 2012, which is triple the amount written in 2008. I take Quaaludes 10 to 15 times a day for my back pain, Adderall to stay focused. By far the most common place to find Adderall being used recreationally is on college campuses, where students often use it as a study drug. However, this drug isn't just for students looking for an A, as many are using it to party and stay up late. I tried to work on it a little last night, but I'm having trouble concentrating. Oh, well, I'll sell you some of my Adderall if you... No, thanks. I'm off pills. There are plenty of dangers associated with Adderall. Besides addiction, abusing it can lead to anxiety, depression, and seizures. Can I ask you something else? What? Some Adderall. Adderall. Just a short-term 20 milligrams. That's why you're called, isn't it? I'm struggling to hold focus. Number three, codeine. Would you like a biscuit? Or lolly. Codeine. Codeine is an opioid that is generally used to treat mild to moderate pain. Recreationally, codeine produces feelings of euphoria and relaxation, but it's much less intense than what's experienced with heroin or morphine. What's that? Well, oh, uh, that is cough syrup with codeine. Heroin users sometimes use codeine as a temporary substitute when they're unable to get their usual opiate. Another popular use for codeine is to take it as part of a narco cocktail, also known as a codeine-based cough syrup, which is known as lean. I decided to mix the little bits that were left in every liquor bottle. In my haste, I had grabbed a bottle of the kid's cough syrup. Misusing the drug, as well as mixing it with other substances, can be dangerous, causing seizures, respiratory depression, memory loss, and death from overdose. Number two, Vicodin. One of the most commonly prescribed opioids in the United States, Vicodin is a combination of hydrocodone and acetaminophen used to treat moderate to severe pain. Vicodin, where's the Vicodin? The hydrocodone properties of Vicodin make it highly addictive, and prolonged use requires an increase in dosage to get the same effect. What if it's not sleep apnea? Trauma from your motorcycle accident? Vicodin abuse? 
Abuse of prescription opiates has increased dramatically in the United States, especially since it's so highly prescribed. With 136 million prescriptions in 2013, according to the Drug Enforcement Administration, experts believe that the recent increase in heroin use is due in part to the large number of people who become addicted to opioids such as Vicodin, and then graduate to heroin. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Depression may be related to an imbalance of naturally occurring chemicals between nerve cells in the brain. Zoloft, a prescription medicine, works to correct this imbalance. And we are told that the reason for that emergency landing is that Prince had OD'd on Percocet, which is a very powerful painkiller. Number one, Oxycontin, also known as Oxycodone. You babysat my kids while you were on Oxycontin. Oxycodone. Well, Oxycodone. Oxycontin. Oxycontin? Oxykitten. What's Oxykitten? Yeah. This pain-relieving prescription opioid is extra powerful, but extra dangerous when abused. Do you want some snappers? Hey, you don't what are you doing? Unlike some of the other opioids on this list, Oxycontin, also known as Oxy, boasts higher amount of pain blockers, and its controlled release tablet lasts a longer period of time, supposedly 12 hours. What pills does she take? Oh, Valium, Vicodin, uh, Darvon, Darvacet, Percodan, Percocet, uh, Xanax for fun, Oxycontin in a pinch. Oxycodone is classified as a Schedule II drug since it's highly addictive with extremely severe withdrawal symptoms. When taken recreationally, it's either taken orally, crushed and snorted, or diluted in water and injected intravenously. When a user builds a tolerance to their dosage, they start taking more, which starts a dangerous and sometimes deadly cycle. Weight, about one gram, which is interesting, because that means that this $20 bill isn't even worth its own weight in Oxy. Do you agree with our list? What do you think is the most abused prescription drug? For more addictive top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. In 2015, in New Hampshire, 40 people died from heroin. 219 died from fentanyl.